Hey guys, it's Jess, and we are doing the Broken Doll tutorial for Halloween. And yes, I am putting glue on my eyebrows. It's going to get way weird way fast. So anyway, um, I'm just taking a stick of glue and putting it on my eyebrows, then taking my CC cream and um, a little bit of the white uh, paint that you can get at the Halloween store, uh, face paint and mixing that together and putting it all over my face and do not forget your ears because that would be weird and yeah just uh, blending that all in and I went in with my foundation brush and just kind of blended everything in. So then I go ahead and took my concealer and uh, tried to conceal up my eyebrows even more and then went ahead and powdered my face. You do not have to cover your eyebrows, but I thought, eh, why not? So I went in with a white eyeshadow and play, placed that right on my eyebrow to kind of mimic my brow bone. And um, then I went in with a light brown shade in my crease, which is basically your brow bone to your crease. Uh, the one thing I will say about the white eyeshadow that I used, unfortunately I did use one with some shimmer in it. I would definitely not recommend that. Get a matte eyeshadow and put that on your eyebrows instead. And then I went in with a darker brown and just darkened up the crease. Okay, so I do need some eyebrows, so what I did was I just took that dark brown shade of eyeshadow and kind of created eyebrows right above my actual eyebrow. Pretend that your eyebrow is your brow, brow bone, and then I just filled in above that. Okay, so go ahead and line your eyes, and when you line your eyes, go ahead and extend it just a little bit. We're not winging it, but you're just going to want to extend it a little bit out past your actual lid. Because we're going to create a bigger eye effect, so we're going to line underneath our eye. And I went basically the natural wrinkle, I guess we'll call it, that I have underneath my eye. And then I took the uh, Scandalize in Nude, and I went with Nude instead of White, um, and just filled in, uh, did my tight lining, and then filled in my eye right to the liner. Just to give it that look that you have bigger eyeballs than you actually do. All right, and then lashes, and I did top and bottom lashes, and then contouring, and this is my Hula bronzer. And then the brightest pink blush you could find. Okay, then I went in and lined my lips, and actually what I did was I didn't line my entire lips. I cut it short just a little bit to give it kind of that pouty kiss look. And then some lipstick. And then to finish the look, I just took a liner pencil and the brown eyeshadow and created some freckles. So that's your 
normal doll. Now let's start in with the crack. So I am using just a black liquid liner, creating lines and creating cracks. And really there is no rhyme or reason to this. Just go ahead wherever you feel like you want it to crack. And then uh, what we're going to do is I actually picked up a different liner brush and we are going to the cracks. We don't want any hard edges. So anything that is a straight edge, we want to um, round all of the corners out. So just go ahead, round any corners out that you have. If you want missing pieces, fill in any any of the pieces with all black and create any fraction lines that you would like. Yes, my neck was killing me trying to look sideways and get this done. So sorry about the neck rolling around there. Okay, so once you have your black done, then go ahead with a liner pencil and some white eyeshadow and just give your um, pieces some dimension. So some pieces will look uh, closer and then the black will kind of look sunken in more if you use the white. So I really didn't have a rhyme or reason to where I was putting it. I just made sure that each piece had some white on it. All right, guys, that is it. Just um, a wig, or you can put your hair in a ponytail, uh, pigtails, whatever. And that is my broken doll. I really hope that you enjoy this, and I will see you guys next time.